Okay, sir. Okay, you believe the once saved, always saved. That is what I'm I'm, I'm getting out of your um, uh, video. Okay, I can't put words. I mean, not not words. I cannot put uh, verses. If you've ever seen any of my videos, you would see that I don't quote chapter and verse. I read the Bible straight through because in the beginning when it was created there wasn't uh, 1st John, 2nd John, 3rd John um, and about once saved always saved now I don't believe in once saved always saved God said if a Christian sins see the we have an advocate with the Father to ask for forgiveness we can come boldly to the throne of grace to attain mercy and find grace in the time of our need and ask for forgiveness when you say the Lord's Prayer you have to go before God you can't even enter the kingdom of heaven he wants you to come as a child you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven if you have unforgiveness in your heart you can't enter the kingdom of heaven by faith are you saved yes truthfully by faith not by works alone but by faith are you saved it is the gift of God through what Jesus did at Calvary he came to this earth as a man born as a man he walked among his creation he grew the tree that he was crucified on he grew the elements that made the nails that nailed him to that tree he creates creation crucified him but he laid his life down free willingly for his creation now there's too many scriptures in the word of God because Jesus says the Bible is written for the child of God the only thing in the Bible for a sinner is to show them that there that, that there's a way back to the Heavenly Father through the Lord Jesus Christ Yeshua Mashiach there's only through him alone you can be saved there's not he's the narrow path that leads to the life is through Jesus broad is the path that leads to destruction and broad is you, you any any means you can get to heaven you can serve any God and get to heaven now I don't I don't believe I believe you believe the narrow path but this one saved always saved okay I would love that to be true. Oh, that would be great. It that it would be so great that people just all they have to do is say, "Oh, I received Jesus as my savior and oh, I'm going to heaven." And live as the world lives. No separation. They do exactly what the world does once they get born again and they go into all they go into the world and they they just do everything they do. And you think that they're going to go to a holy God. That his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. And they're going to, God's going to have him, them stand before him. And God's going to say, excuse me, you get to go in because you did never accepted me. You have to go to hell. Is that what you're saying? That Jesus is going to say to a person that is doing the exact same thing that the sinner is doing. And that person is going to go into heaven and be forgiven because he said a prayer one time. Jesus says, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature in the whole world. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No man can come unto the Father except through me. Jesus said that we are to walk and talk and act like him. If we fall, he said, if we fall, we have an advocate with the Father to ask for forgiveness. Now, what do you say to a child of God that you quote, that don't ask for forgiveness, that doesn't care, that they don't go before Yeshua and, and, and admit they're wrong. They drink, they smoke, they lie, they gossip, they backbite, they steal, they kill, they destroy, they hate, they have bitterness. God said in His Word, anybody with bitterness will not enter the kingdom of heaven. 
and you're stating once saved, always saved. God said, when they stand before him, each of us, we have that appointment. We all have that appointment before Yeshua. Okay? We have that appointment before Yeshua. Now, that person standing before God. God said in his word, when they stand before him, all of us, and he said, it will be worse than hell on you that have known me than the sinner that have not known me. Where's that one saved, always saved? God had said that himself. People, I wish that was true. I, I, I wish people could be saved forever. That just say, oh, I, I, you know, oh, I accepted Jesus. I'm going to heaven. Hallelujah. Praise God. And I'm forgiven no matter what I do. I'm going to go into heaven. And I hate my neighbor. I can't stand that person. And they accepted Jesus like you say. So that hate is forgiven. If that was a fact, then Jesus would not have put once Jesus would not have put if you sin come to me and and bring that sin to me to get forgiven if you were once saved always saved you would not go before Yeshua and say I don't have to I'm saved forever I can do whatever I want say what I want and be as I want because I accepted Jesus in my heart so that gives me a license to do whatever I want you are saying to people that they have a license to do whatever they want they have a license to sin they have a license that they do not have to be concerned when the Lord said come unto me and the Lord said I and the, the only way you can get to, to my Father, which is holy, it's only through Jesus' blood and sacrificial. And Jesus is the one that stands and comes before us and stands and says their name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. That they are forgiven through my blood and my resurrection power, Father. That they have my name, they have that, my Holy Ghost in them. Jesus said, I'll never leave you or forsake you. He said, I'll never leave you or forsake you. But what about the Christian that leaves him and forsakes him? Now, God does give us a, 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 a way to come back to the Father. When I backslidden as a, young, a, a younger person, God brought me home. I never, it never felt right in, in my of sinning because I was in the wrong and I knew if I died I would have went to hell. So there ain't none of this once saved, always saved. God said that he's going to say to a lot of people, well, didn't we cast demons out in your name? Didn't we um, lay hands on the sick and they recovered? Didn't we do this and that? And he's going to say, depart from me, I never knew you. Um... Okay, what about them people? Is that one saved, always saved? What's, what, what, it would be great. I would love it that no one goes to hell. I don't want nobody to. But you have to walk with Jesus daily. You have to have a relationship with Yeshua. It's not a, a, a toy. He's not a, a thing you could take off the shelf and put on the shelf when you want to. I'm not saying you do that, sir. I'm saying there is people that do that. They think, oh, oh, Jesus, get me out of this mess. And the Lord gets them out of the mess. And then the next thing is Jesus is put back up on that shelf. So is his sword, his word. is put back up on the shelf and they go and do what the world does. And you're saying they're going to go walk into a holy kingdom. And God's going to say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. This is going to end. What is your statement on that, young man? What is your statement?